Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games oh. and cats playing pinball. Cat pinball. Let's go to the cat playing pinball. Go cat, go. Go Sid, get that pinball. Yeah, we have this little box yeah. with three holes on each side. And there's a ball in the middle that cannot get out unless yeah. you unscrew the whole thing. Exactly. But the we thought that uh, it's like cats playing pinball. It, that's what it sounds like. You'll be lying in bed <laughs> at like 2 in the morning. You just hear clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing. And uh, Sid has taken a liking to yes, it. Yes, yes. He enjoys the cat pinball. So yeah, Once I showed it to him and pushed the ball around, yep. he's like, oh, oh. Because yeah. it's like chasing mice through holes and that you're never ever gonna get yeah yes cat ball <laughs> yes cat ball oh sid's bell training it's sid. uh, he's not quite taken to it yet he needs a little bit more i think yeah example and i think we need to practice with him on his own because yes. when we practice with atari a atari gets all the treats atari goes get out of and my B, way sid hyper focuses on the treat and not the bell so we throw a treat to atari then he tries to steal the treat from atari so he's not quite getting the ring the bell get the treat thing yet so he's getting there yeah um but yeah slowly 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 but surely so today hey, thank you crypto coffee <laughs> Thank you so much, Crypto Coffee. Today we're going to be playing some Atari 8 bit games. Let's get that 2600 out of there. Oh, bye, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Crypto Coffee is on a three stream streak. He's oh, watched you. Oh, excellent. He three watches times in more than that. Woo! Um, we're going to be playing three uh, Atari 8 bit games Galagish. Yeah. Uh, Pseudotris. And a Robots Rumble, all nice. of the Atari 8-bit. Oh, the cats are attacking each other. Yeah. Let's just switch over to that. Atari. While we uh, read out the names. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Al Nefer, Andrew Atari, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari's Maximus, Beer Poke Up, Bruno Stacks, Captain Class, Charles Stunnemont, Charles Wynn, Shitla, Sierra Rebo, Danny Z, Dr. Mukaz, Dr. Webstore, Gamma Dev, Great Defender, Eraldor, JGKSPSX, and it's Kev. Yay, thank you, it's Kev! Uh, JGKSPSX, uh, Johnny WC, Carl G, Carrot Hack, Croc 2600, Gavelt for Lambda Express, Lord Tun 777, Mandy Sipic T, Mark Yannis, Mark Basic, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Sol, McCall, Miss Command, uh, Miss The Lou, Mem K Smith, Mr. Fun, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Patapolis, uh, Pseudographics, Coagar, Androids, Render Ghost, Rod Pentless, VG, Robert Tully, Ricardo Pim, Six Week, Spitty B, Spice Horse, Spinley, S. Ramirez, Steve C, Textors, T, T, Tiki Dan, K, T, Foes, Trek, M, D, Tweeny, Vexor, X, VVD, Double Down, X, Can, X, Zombie Alice, and of course, it's Kev. Yay. Subscribe just now. Thank you so much. And Cubanismo, just resubscribe. Uh, sometimes Thank it you. doesn't go right away. I think you have to like put it in the chat or something. Yeah, you have to, to like trigger. trigger the chat or something. I, I, yeah, I also had trouble getting it to trigger, but that's okay. <laughs> Sid is testing Atari's patience. Oh, uh-huh. That's what yes. happens with younger siblings. Yeah, yeah. It's like, ugh. Atari's just cat. like, ugh. This is, this is the room with the treats, so I have to put up with it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, if, Every once in a while, just give him a smack. Just a, a light-hearted tap, smack. Tap on the head. No tap. claws. No. Just no. a nice, nice little like get out of get out of here. <laughs> um, so thank you for uh, supporting the show and supporting yeah. these two bad cats. These two little fluffers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you wanted to support the show, you can click subscribe. Yeah. Or if you just want to know um, when, <laughs> it's just enough. too much fun. I like switching when they're yeah going crazy. Um, or if you just want to know when the show's on, uh, just follow us. Mm -hmm. Or you can uh, subscribe on YouTube. That's free as well. Mm -hmm. um, so to the mail, news and feedback. We have news. This uh, updates for the Sunnyvale 2026 meetup. Um, Emmanuel Huseman updated me on the Atari Sunnyvale 2026 mm -hmm. meetup uh, with a video from Vins and a bunch of information. Um, so I'm going to paste the link to the video in the chat that you guys can check out later. Actually, I can play it in the background, um, but muted. There we go. So 
so you guys can see it. Oh, are you kissing that cute oh, little Oh, I how, how he's just so sweet. He also is um, surprisingly comfortable with being picked up and held. Oh, well, we we're staying on top of that. Yeah. Um, so this is the other oh, guy right there on the screen. Uh, the Gem Toss French Atari Convention Organizer. Nice. Um, so he is organizing a meetup in 2026, which is the 30th anniversary of the it, the end of Atari Core. Okay. Uh, it's a tribute to the Atari Corporation. The tentative date is October 2026 in Sunnyvale. Um, the tentative meeting place is the Mothership statue at the Google headquarters. Mothership, okay. And let me show you that. I have never seen this, but... I no, but we have been to the Google headquarters, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, I don't remember that being there when we were there. So there's a monument, statue, tribute, mm. something there. It's kind of a spaceship that's beaming down. The colors that were inside the headquarters of Atari that was oh, okay. there. okay. And I think a lot of people have seen that reception area picture of uh, those three colors on the wall. So there it is, uh, Michael Whiting, October 2022. The ideas of space, spaceship, and science fiction have been an inspiration in the advancement of technology, whether the advancement of in video games you can play in your home television or the ability to carry around miniature computers in your pockets. This artwork is an homage to the Atari's first corporate headquarters located at 1265 Bor Boragus, 1970 to 1984. City of Sunnyvale Art in Private Development Program. And there's some more pictures of it. There's a oh, final blurry photo. There's a He's a attacking photo. your joystick now. Please don't attack the bratwurst. <laughs> He's like, ooh, a bratwurst. Um, so this is the unofficial place where the meetup will take place. Um, so at 1265 Borges uh, Avenue at the corner of Gibraltar Court. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is some more information on the meetup. Let me paste that. I need one of those for my workplace, which is home. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, uh, invitation. Let's go to USA Sunnyvale 2026. A meeting, a gathering, an adventure between fans in front of the former Atari headquarters with fans of the brand from different countries, that would be incredible. It's also an opportunity to take your little family <laughs> to visit the country. We're contacting old or new Atari programmers, YouTubers. Hey, 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 hey. He likes, he's, he has very good eyes and he likes looking at mice on the screen. Uh, so hold them down there. Uh, who, those who have left a mark in the Atari scene so they can come to the gathering. How much does it cost? What month is it? What are we doing? Etc. Follow the videos to see how we organize ourselves. Don't hesitate to support the project. And there's some um, contact information. Um, and I think it says the exact same stuff. Mm. Um, so there's a video there. I've posted that link in the chat. And uh, maybe we'll go. We'll see what we're doing in mm. two years. Mm. Um, it's not... It's it's California's a drive. Not too far. It's a drive, but not too bad. Ten hours. Oh well, you can fly too. I'm yeah, sure. I'm yeah, sure there's yeah, lots of flights yeah. between Vancouver and um, uh, San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, is it's in between. It's it's Los it's, Angeles and. It's close to San Francisco, is it? isn't it? Francisco? Anyway, we'd have to look. That up. Yeah, we'd have to look that up. That's future planning. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, there is a forum thread as well in the Atari Age forums about this. So mm -hmm. if you want to start, isn't PRG usually Octoberish? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I could be a continuing be. trip, possibly. Yes. It should definitely be yeah. before that or Ooh. after that. San like Jose, directly. closer to San Jose. San Jose. Okay, good okay. to know. Good to know. Much closer and easy to navigate. Uh, okay. So if it is October-ish, they really should plan it they around PRG. Up. They could line up. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to suggest that to him. Mm. Um, so because if, if he does that, we'll definitely yeah. go. Yeah. Hundred uh, percent. If that's before or after PRG, yes. so I'll, I'll suggest that. Well, and it's not a bad idea for people to go to, to PRG and then yeah. go to and that. Yeah. And tack too. onto it, especially yes. if they're coming from overseas exactly. as well. Yeah, might work. 
So yeah, yeah. very good. Um, there is uh, uh, there was a post about FujiNet twenty six hundred boards by T Shack nine oh nine. Moswell just got back the first prototype PCBs for the Atari twenty six hundred version of FujiNet, and that is the cartridge, the white cartridge that's plugged into the back of my Atari eight bit. Mm. It's also available for uh, Atari, uh, Commodore sixty four and. Oh, cool one other system yes. that i can't remember yep. right now um it is very similar to the plus cart mm. it is wi-fi enabled and you can connect apple, ITC apple. Says. thank yep. you itc and you can connect to servers now the mm. difference between the plus cart and the fuji net is that you can connect to multiple servers mm. any server you want you type in the uh, URL of it and you can connect to it and it's pretty much like an FTP it's got a file browser that you can either that you can play files uh, games directly off oh. or files okay. right off of their server so very similar to, to plus card except it's a little bit more open in mm. terms of what you can connect to cool. um, this PCB has sockets for both an ESP32 dev board and an RP2040 along as with an indentation for the internal antenna, SD card socket, and buttons. And also on the FujiNet, there is an SD card that you can run things directly off of that. So it's kind of like the, I can't remember what it's called, the Plus Card and Uno Card combination, where it does have Plus Card and Uno Card, which has the SD card. So, um, but on it, it says FujiNet Plus Cart Hybrid Prototype. Now, I tried to look for more information of how they're going to combine the FujiNet and the Plus Cart together. So maybe it's going to be able to access the Plus Store, but also the FujiNet servers. Cool. Now, that would be really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. Where it's kind of open, but one of the servers is specifically, specifically the, plus cart one. the plus cart one where yeah. it's like almost hard coded into it nice that would be, that'd be plus cool. cart sd yeah. yeah they have different names for it um so that's really cool i know that alnifer is part of this thread as well mm -hmm. so he has been in contact or is he talking with t-shack there's batari great news i think i'll open source the hem project batari says this to be able to use some of the same sources as this project no reason to reinvent the wheel um, so if you want to know more about this board, it is an ongoing thing. It is, there's obviously a huge infrastructure already for the FujiNet. Uh, the servers are all in place. There's already games you can play with cool. other people on the FujiNet servers. That's cool. <laughs> uh, there's tons and tons of places that can add on 2600 games that are ready to go. They just make another directory and upload all the 2600 games. Um, and there's also the plus cart that is also uh, part of the infrastructure as well. So I'll be watching this project uh, with great anticipation. Very cool. And I definitely will buy one when it is ready. Mm -hmm. So they've they've got at least the first um, board ready to populate. Uh, he hasn't posted anything about it being populated yet. Um, so we'll see mm -hmm. what it is capable of. Uh, next piece of news the lock on cartridge there are some available for $35 plus shipping in the US only um, so I can't buy one if you're interested in selling these in a different country please contact me this is post by Chris cool now what these are is that some cartridges don't fit nicely into some systems mm. some some cartridges are a little oh, bit I too see. big i'm I sure see. you've seen me kind of yeah. try and get some in and it's mm -hmm. really really tight yep. yep so what this does is make sure that it can fit in any atari uh, okay and, and then, then you put that on top you can put it on top and oh. because it's outside of the atari it is able to click on no problem is it certain atari consoles that seem to have a tightness or is the carts yeah. themselves <sighs> Like, well, is it the cart the issue, or is it, is it the actual, like... Who's to say? Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm curious if it's, like, a... Uh, well, either or, yeah, really. Because yeah. if there's both, some that are small, like both. Yeah. yeah. Red label cartridges give me the most trouble. So, yeah. yeah. So, this is a solution that you could 
mm. keep in your system and it's Just also all the time. Yeah. a dust saver too oh, so yeah. dust mm -hmm. won't go in because you've uh some other people have also sold little covers that aren't yeah. cartridges but fit in the slot they just kind of smooth over the slots so yeah, they don't it, get dirty it sits oh. flat very cool looking i always keep my harmony card in there which is mm. i think not recommended because no. it stretches the pins or something like mm. that um so there's some more pictures of it there's mr run and jump plugged into it and there are one two three four <laughs> five stacked up and a cartridge plugged into it Ooh. All of them successfully tested, stack them to the heavens, which is a Homestar Runner reference. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, referencing that uh, marshmallow guy, uh, where he's stacking marshmallows to the heavens. Oh. Very, very silly. Uh, so if you have trouble with certain mm. uh, Atari consoles, that is a solution. Cool. Um, and I can't order them here unfortunately oh shipped out three so far i've made 10 willing to make more if demand warrants it um i haven't i mean i've had trouble so i don't know maybe i should get one but i usually run stuff off stuff off of the harmony cart or the uno cart um and the only time i really run stuff off of when i get the retail but usually i'm playing ongoing developing games so yeah. it's always being updated mm -hmm. yeah ITC says many third party carts are an issue in mid to late made 7800s. Mm. Okay. Okay. So 7800s are a problem. Gotcha. Um, so if you're into the 5200, here is a homemade joystick. I have to highlight this because I'm in dark mode and some people like to change their uh, color of their type, uh, typing uh, text from the default. Uh, Lucas Lack124 posted yesterday, I've finally begun producing the 5200 VX controller in small quantities. As I produce, I will contact those who have privately messaged me in order of date uh, so they can purchase a controller if they desire. Now, what is interesting about this controller, it is analog, not digital. Uh. So most aftermarket controllers are digital because they're much easier to make. Um, it's even got a slot for the overlays. Excellent. And it's got that. It is obviously 3D printed, as you can see by the texture. Do, um, are the buttons different too? Like they look like pushy buttons, like uh, the bottom buttons. Or the the ones so the red buttons that go underneath the overlay. Yeah, they, they were that different. kind of pl um, softer plastic. That's what on I mean. The original. Yeah. 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 They I, look different. It's upside down. You guys can't see it, but he's upside down. And he's got such a cute white belly. I've been ma making sure to pet his white belly as much as possible. <laughs> and his paws so he doesn't freak out. Oh, sweet kitten. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people obviously want these because they like the original form factor. Yes. Um, if you notice, there's one button on either side instead of two. Gotcha. But really, there are only two buttons. Okay. And there's, they're duplicated. There's a top yes. and a bottom. Yes. So some people have complained that they hold and like the button, the joystick with their left or right hand. So they use the one and two with just one hand. So they, they'll have to get used to this new type of, uh, eh, what is this? They should work great for the four or five games in the 5200 library that are appropriately played with the analog joystick. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there are very few games that are analog joystick based. Mm -hmm. um, is it? Uh, my pause. Oh, okay. Uh, no, one of Andrew's 3D printed shells uh, with a big... I think they're talking about something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there we go. If you want to get one of those, I have enough. 5200 joysticks, I have yep. analog, and I have digital joysticks, so I don't need any of those. And I have adapters for other joysticks and things like that. So I have four and even more of those mm -hmm. and, and some originals that I have to repair as well that I have the uh, things to repair with. Okay, I think that's all the mm -hmm. news mm -hmm. for now. It's time to get on with the kitten games. Oh, he's fast asleep. Fast asleep. Oh, adorable. Okay, so let's reset this system. And switch over. And the first game we're going to be playing 
which I think I have to show something for this one. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? No, we can just jump right into it. Okay. So this is Galagish. Galagish. Gal Galag. It's a Galaga-ish. Galaga-ish. Um. So it's not Galaga. And they were calling it Gish for a while, but now they've set it settled on Galagish. Um. There we go. I think we're good. So this is made by. Uh, Scott Bradley, Gimme99, Paul Lay, Playsoft, and Bobby Clark for the sound effects mm -hmm. in Papalooza. So, see, it's a Galagish. Galagish. And you sort coin 10,000. So it started in 2019 with a user called Discotronic asking about an Atari 5200 version of Galaga mm -hmm. and referenced the Champ Games excellent version of it. Mm. Um, okay, so you can start in, just press the button. Oh, I think I have to press start, actually. Not couch compliant. No! So it is a work in progress. So to get two ships, you have to destroy one of the Galagas while it's flying. Oh. So if you ever lose uh, one of... That is correct. That is correct, ITC. So if you ever lose your second ship... You just shoot get it back one of the Galagas as it's coming down. As it's coming down. Wow! Not I just I have two top. already, so there's none of the uh, flipping no, down. No, uh... that's not implemented yet. Okay. Um, since then, the game has evolved through early versions by Paul Lay. On November 12, 2019, was his first version that he uh, uh, posted. Um, and then March 26, uh, 2020, Synth Papalooza joined, contributing music to the project. And then June 2nd, Gimme99 took the source code uh, posted by Playsoft and started developing it further. And Playsoft posted his last version on June 4th, 2024, uh, incorporating Synth Papalooza's... Oh, that was close. Uh, music. And then uh, June 10th, 2024, uh, Gimme99 posted his first Atari 8-bit build of the game. So he is developing it with a 5200 version, side by side with the 8-bit version. So this does also run on the Atari 5200. <gasps> what did I do? <laughs> Went right into it. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. So remember, Terrible. shoot it in Oh, air. there's no challenge mode. No, no, no. Okay. We're still working on it. Still, so shoot one of those, or kill one of those in midair. Oop, or yeah. kill yourself. Or kill yourself. That's yeah. another tactic. Um, and then June 11th, uh, Gimme99 posted, since the, instead of this being Galaga port or clone, it's more of a Galaga-ish type thing. I have renamed the binaries to Gish to visualize, uh, visually distinguish them from the demos in previous experiments. And then he has now renamed it to Galagish. Uh, the next update, June 14th. Here's a new experimental build with these changes. High score is back and working. Galagish logo shows in the status bar when the game is over and insert coin more waiting for you to press start. There's a fake level counter in the status bar now. So L5 you're on. I think it just does the same level over and over. It gets it? a little bit harder. I think they shoot and swoop and Are come in different? a little faster. Yeah, they do more come down and then they shoot after the first level, but yeah. um, it doesn't look that different. Um, it actually only counts up to 20 levels. So if you make it to 21, the level indicator will show garbage. <laughs> uh, uh, Ooh, garbage! But, but there you go, it says. There you go, you're back. Uh, I'm on vacation for the next two weeks, so hopefully nothing bad broken here. Uh, June 29th, uh, when you load the game, you should get a Starfield ship and the Galagish logo on the bottom left and insert coin in the bottom right. Uh, when you press start, the game should start. When you run out of ships, you should get a game over in the middle of the status bar. Pressing start should take you back to the initial Warning. insert coin Warning. screen. The treat ball, is treat loose. ball time. The treat ball is loose. Oh, kittens. It's treat ball time. That woke up. That woke up, said. Ah, I can't see, and I'm well, dead. You've, you've, <sighs> earned, you've earned extra shit, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Now, who's giving the cats some treat balls? Crypto Coffee! Yay, thank you, Crypto! Thank you, Crypto Coffee! Well, thank you from the cats, actually. 
Oh, Sid knows that noise. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, the cows are so hot, Sid. Now, Atari was dominating this one last time. Oh, yeah? And Sid kind of just took a back seat. Yeah. So, he, yeah. Doesn't, he has to learn how the game is played, you know? Oh, well. There you go. I have to show him. He does play with toys and bats things around. He bats balls around, so. Let's see if I can get him to bat this way. Oh, I open two. Alright, you just wait for a second, okay? Sid's gone straight to the source. Okay, so I showed it, showed Sid the ball batting around. Now Atari, you can show him batting around. Oh, he's backing off. Oh, he pushed it a bit. Yeah. Pushed it a bit. Pushed around. There you go. He just has to successfully get one out while he's pushing it. Sid, come on, make the connection. You can do it. Get your kitty mind working. Come on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, good kitty. Good kitty, there you go. Here, I had to push one open. Good kitty. Okay, I think he's almost got it. Almost understanding. The treats come from inside, and he needs to bat it around. Does it have mutant enemies that sometimes show up? The character sprites look pretty good. We look do. better on the CRT. They yeah, do they look good. Yeah, the graphics. Uh, TIX was um, in the thread for this, and he was like, oh, I'll do graphics, but then he looked at them and went, oh, they're fine. <laughs> They're not going to get any better. <laughs> no, they do look they really look good. They look really good. Um, and the, the star field fading in and out is really nice. Parallax on the star field is great. Whoa, I think you went right through that one. Yeah. Um, the sounds are really good as well. Yeah, I think really all that's left is to, well, all, wow. is to implement all of the um, different levels. Yeah. And also the picking up the ship and the... Yeah, the ship and the graphics for the ship being picked up. It, it, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's it's, it? it's it's on the easy end. <laughs> yeah, As it is. It's the cause... same level over and over yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did and you then, die? Oh, I have no. You're no. only level four. No, 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 no. It's all messed up. Oh, okay. It, 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 <laughs> I reset? was saying like seven, and now it went back to two. Oh, okay. And I don't know if I wrapped it around it. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention, but I definitely am well past four. Oh, okay. Unless it automatically restarted, but I don't think so. Yay, double ship. Uh, June 30th, which is the one we're playing right now. Another interim experimental build. I realized while testing today that since I added the concept of insert coin experience in the game over, uh, the high score is not persistent across games. I didn't think it'd be, I could be more ashamed of the code behind the insert coin stuff, but I've surpassed that with a giant hack of maintaining high score across games. My testing, it does work for games up to just under 100,000. If you go another digit, it might work, but I do not have the patience to play until 100,000. We're almost there. So we should test that out. You can do it. Make it to 100,000. Uh, the insert coin text moved to the center, and the high score displayed on the right start screen. Uh, the ship... Hey! Sid! Is he not playing? No, he doesn't understand. What? Or he's not hungry. Sid! Yeah, he's not food motivated like uh, no. some other cats we like know. all the other cats. <laughs> there you go. Atari's eating it. Show me how it's done, Atari. See? Watch and learn. Oh, 73,000. Uh, the ship icon in the status bar is now blue. Uh, like the L for level indicator. It seems better to me to have all the labels to be blue, and the high score should pr be preserved between games. Okay, I 
semi-completed level, hand it over to me. Sure. So I can try it out. It's, uh, it, it, it plays very well. I know it's... Feels it's, like Galaga? It, it, it feels like Galaga. Obviously, it's missing some of the Galaga yeah, gameplay. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it feels pretty awesome. Sounds, looks awesome. Yep. There you go, kitty. Now you want, he's getting it. You want it to Roll take over? A bit. Yep. It just keeps playing, so... Yeah. Oh, what? Doubt. That's okay. You can get it back. I also have a lot of ships. Every 10,000. <laughs> Can't shoot those guys up there. No, they gotta come back. down. Oh, and, and guys that go off the screen never come back. No, <laughs> that uh, from the bottom. From That's the bottom. an issue. Oh, no, some of them come back. No, no, they, they come back. They come back. Oh, the... F oh. Uh, they, but the ones during the initial uh, game don't. play don't come back once they go off the bottom, but I think that might be true to most Galaga games. Yeah. There go. Oh and my god. I'm dead immediately. <laughs> Terrible. Pathetic. I have noticed you can get a double death, which... We'll get it. There you go. Double death. Yeah, that's possible. Things See? You're hit. back at level one. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go to 100,000, though. We're going to try for 100,000. Just don't die more. I'm sure somebody else already answered. You know, it's, 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 you just got to dodge. It's pretty good. Oh, love it, Toko! Hey, Vitoko! Yes, I agree, the game does look awesome. Are you, are you eating? He's a bit... He doesn't understand. There we go, use your nose! There we go! 90,000! He's just a wee baby. He's just a little baby. He's a little baby cat. He's, he's still learning the ropes. He's, what day is it today? Yeah, exactly. Is It's not the 21st yet? No. no. He's still three months old. He's still three months, coming up to four. Counting his birthday and days at this point. <laughs> That's right. Just like annoying parents. Yeah. My baby is 56 months old. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Don't make me do math. <laughs> <laughs> Once they hit one, stop with the months. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? I know that there's developmental milestones, milestones. and that's why they're counting, <laughs> and that's why they have to memorize the months. But for everyone else, it's very simple. Is he one or two? Oh, 100,000. Now I can die. I love all. <laughs> oh, speaking of. A magical number appeared on our car today. Oh, the same number? Uh, we hit 100,000. Oh, as I was did driving you watch it to work. Over? No, I saw oh. it after. I saw it at 100,022, and I was like, oh, I missed the turnover. The magical, magical $100,000 uh, $100, <laughs> yeah, nice. turnover. Basically, oh. where your car uh, officially becomes worth $0. That's but, right. Um, oh, it kept the high score. There we go. Over 100,000. Yeah. Still fun. Boom. Dead. Boom. Am so, I playing? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so really great start. It's got everything it needs in there mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. now. So uh, really, all that's left is the patterns. Mm -hmm. um, a title screen. Being able to start the game with the button mm -hmm. would be nice. So it's couch compliant. Um, and and the uh, tractor beam, really. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, great, awesome game. I will be monitoring that, of course. Uh, 100,000 kilometers, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't. Uh, we don't drive it too much. I and mean, we do drive down the coast to PRG. Yeah. And to, to Seattle as well, but we don't go crazy. It's just a big number. It's nice it to is. see. It, it's a big number to roll over. And how many years? Six? Six years. Six years, yeah, yeah so... No, no. Do the math on that. No. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is Pseudotris. Mm. So you'll like this one. Mm -hmm. um, it's by uh, Pavel uh, Gugala and Kshishtov Jembek. How do I go back again? Is it... Left and the button. Left. Don't start it up. Okay. Um, because I'm going to show people where this came from. It nice. was actually from a mobile game. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, 
released February 2022. And there is a trailer for the game right here. Oh my god. What's that? That's very loud. What are you trying to do? It's like Tetris and Sudoku? Yes. You're trying to fill... So in Sudoku, you do lines. full lines, you do a square uh, of nine. Gotcha, okay. But it's also Tetris in the fact that you get rid of lines that way. Um, nice. So Sudotris was made for people... This is the description from the original people. Mm. Sudotris was made for people who love block puzzles. Drag and drop different shapes, form lines and squares, score combos, and train your brain with Sudotris. It's the best way to challenge yourself and unwind at the same time. Nice. If you like Tetris, block and unblock games, sliding puzzles, merge games, or games like Blockudoku. Okay. Uh, there, must, <laughs> there must be a billion games made on uh, Sudoku. Ah. This is the perfect uh, game for you. The, end of the trailer, I'm guessing. Yep. There's still one in here, you silly peeps. Uh, take a break from the daily grind and blockade stress by immersing yourself in the fun brain teaser. We'll sure you'll come back for more. I sense a theme. Okay, so let's get this started up. I'll change the graphics to this. You want to start up the game? I will, just put that away. Okay. So when this... Oh, look at that! Wow! There's great music. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Um, there was a little write-up uh, on the AtariOnline.pl on the Warsaw KS... KWA S S31, which took place literally a week ago. A colleague, Paul, author of such games as Dizzy, Dr. Mario, and Doodle, showed the showed and told us about his latest production, which is a game about this is about the game Sudotris, which is a combination of Sudoku and Tetris rules, and to which the graphics I drew music created uh, by Zoltar X. The game is currently in the creation phase. Serrano's a fan. You know the reference. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. That's right. <laughs> I mean, he's super well known. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, the game is currently in the creation phase, so some elements will look different and behave in the final version of the program. This is the final version. Okay. This this, this thing I'm reading is from quite a while back, ways back. Um, but you can already already see how well, how well uh, Pavel has dealt with the support blocks. It's really nice. The blocks can be taken and put off. And everything is legible. So jump into it. Mm. Or not. One mode? Just one? How to play. No. Put blocks on the Sudoku board trying to fill the entire row, column, or square to eliminate it from the board in normal mode. You uh, you just have to earn points. In progress mode, you have to eliminate increasing number of items. In mission mode, you have to complete various tasks. Which antic graphics mode are used in this game? Oh my god. They barely ever post which modes they use so I can never and I'm not versed in all the different modes Let's try normal so you first. can go the rules was that the rules we just read I think so yes yes okay. so what did it say it said in normal mode you just earn points in progress mode you have to eliminate increasing numbers of items in mission mode you have to complete let's try progress yes. mode because normal just seems like normal level one collect one item Press the button. So you have to surround that item, I'm guessing. No, you have to pick up blocks. Oh, you have a block. Never mind. That is the block. Oh, okay. Confused. No. I have to surround it? Yeah. Oh, I would not have picked that. All right. <laughs> nope. I can finish it with that. Uh, I see. You just have to pick Level it up. Level one complete. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nice. Level two. Okay. So now I have to eliminate two of them. And I think I don't think this has score. It just has levels on this mode. J 
Check, check, check. Okay, this one. Sorry, just testing the audio. Nope, Fitoko will know. <laughs> Fitoko can answer all your antic modes questions. <laughs> can you collect these as one single row? Yes, that would be a good one to do as one single row. I can't flip them, can I? No. You just have to put it somewhere else. Oh man, I just screwed myself here. Uh, mm, you have to wait for the right piece. Mm. No, you can do it in one row. You just need three across. I can't. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, you just messed yourself up. Did I? Oh, no. Okay, you can do that. You messed yourself up. So you can do it all in one row. I know, you're right. You're yeah. right. I, I, um, this one I realize uh, my, yeah, what I'm doing is not really helping me. <laughs> Get that pinball. You can let's do it in stereo like we are. Problem is, if it's not in stereo, it just goes to one channel. And it sounds like your left ear will thank you. But, um, so I have to change it. It's very annoying. And it's not a simple button I can press either. Good if there was like. I wish I could turn them. Nope, that's not how it works. That's be too easy. Yeah, maybe. That's the problem. Oh, you screwed yourself. Did I? Yeah, you completed a, a column, and now you have to fill that column again. Or if you're going for. No, I was going for. Across. Up and down. But... Oh. Mm. Oh, just need to do that T. Don't mess yourself up. Drop that T in there. Okay, my turn. <laughs> You're better at it than I am. I don't know about that. We'll see. Yeah, you can collect these as one single row. Yeah, exactly. I, I uh, uh, was like not quite figuring it out in the beginning. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, sure. Sure. Ah, too long. Let's do that. There you go. I'll take care of that, but it'll mess up that thing. That's okay. Hi! How's my sweetie? I'm a meowy cat. How are you? I'm very meowy. How are you? Meowy Christmas. You want some beer? No, uh, you don't too like young. beer. You can only have cat weed. <laughs> only cat weed, eh? Yeah. He's, he's old enough for cat weed. He, he has not met the uh, governmental requirement yet for for age for a beer. No, no. He no. is only four no. months old. <laughs> <laughs> he can have it at four months. Poor, poor baby. Oh, poor baby. Don't cause trouble. Mm -mm. Um, no, I don't want to him to go into cat protective services. <laughs> oh. You know, how sad would that be? Oh, so sad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Huh? I wish it would constantly show the next three pieces rather than giving you a set of three without oh, an idea of what's coming afterwards. I yes, that is a better... That's part of the challenge, I'm uh, guessing? No, I don't think so. I think the whole point is you can see what's coming so you can place things. Well, they want you to not see what's coming. No, but you should see what's coming. Well, that makes so, it easier. So there's more strategy to, okay, where you oh, place things. Oh, to placing. Yeah. So I agree. I agree with you, nostalgic. I, I think am... that would be a better, a better approach. Oh jeez! But... I think I'm dead. Oh, you're dead! Oh, <gasps> you're trying to be oh, too no. complicated. Not dead. You can. Oh, you can swap them. You can swap. I better oh. complete something real quick. There. That one completes a line. I have to complete something. Is yeah. that going to? Yes, it opens it up for that. Yes. Oh my goodness! I am really screwing myself over here. No. Mm, mm, mm. 
I would put it up top, unless... Where? There. There? Yeah. Ah, oh, finally. Oh my goodness. Doing terrible. Uh... Nope. 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 There. there yes. We go. Yeah, that one cuts it off. Let's just get rid of this. Yeah, that's helpful. Oh, you got a big one. Yeah. Oh, you can't fit it though. Ugh. Eh, eh. Can't fit it. I'll put it up top. The big Maybe one. Maybe I should. Go oh yeah, you can. You can. Vertically. Yeah, you need one. Yeah, you can't put it down below, which is but a shame. there. Yeah. There. That was dangerous. Yay! Okay, we're going to try the other mode now. Because mm. we've conquered this one. <laughs> this you, says, wait, you can choose from the three pieces? That changes yeah, everything. You can yeah, I didn't realize that either. You can toss it back in. But you don't, Funny. You don't get... Like a... You always only see that. You do. Those three. Three at a time. And it gives the next three. And you have to use your third piece eventually. Yeah, you do. I want to play one more. I want to play. You did you play. barely gave me a second to play it. You played four levels and I've done no, two. No, like barely a second. <laughs> what? I need Lies. an instant replay on that. Lies. You barely played, four played it. Levels. I barely figured out how to play it and then you like, <laughs> well, that, give it to me. I want to play. That's that's a more accurate <laughs> statement. I barely figured out how to play. Yes. But the fun is in in learning how to play, uh -huh. not in succeeding. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, sometimes you can screw yourself over mm -hmm. quite badly. Oh God. Oh god. I'm dead. Yep. And it knows it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Your mm. turn now. Time to do a mission. Mission one. Collect one item. You can't do that. Were you not watching me play? I wanted to, but it wouldn't. <laughs> you can't just put it over top and go done. Done the level. Finished. Could this be a plain old antic four? It looks like max of five colors in the puzzle area. And the pieces move in a grid-like fashion. I, I, I missed looks... what it said I needed to do. <laughs> I clicked through it too fast. It said collect one piece. No, and then I finished it, and then I clicked, oh, this... clicked through mission two. I guess do a line, fill a square. I don't know, I missed it. Well, you got a uh -oh, bit too I'm in crazy. Trouble now. Well, I would fill a square and do a line then. Oh, there you go. So that's a line. Might be. Nope. So it's fill a square. I don't know. Vertical I it. line. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone see it? Pro tip: If the square is light blue, you can't place a piece there. Nice. Double down with the pro tips. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, shows the blue. I should print out a cheat sheet with all the antic with all the graphics modes mm -hmm. so that I can start learning the modes because a lot of them are based on how many colors are available and how things are arranged on the screen what? and that's kind of I, I learned Atari 2600 by looking at um, through Stella so have you done a full square yet? Uh, yeah. Have I'm you not done sure a what I'm supposed to do. I, I need to restart this because I have no line. idea. Uh, maybe Fill it's... That. Yeah. I should have paid there. attention. I feel terrible. Maybe up, I diagonal. Up and over. Oh, could be diagonal. What? 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 What are you talking about? Well, there's... Well, let's do it there, Here? too. But there's... Yeah. There. Actually, there's a vertical line right up there on the right-hand side that you could have completed. No, with this one. Or a vertical you... line? Have you done a vertical line yet? I've done a horizontal? I can't remember now. No, you haven't. Oh, they're giving you all vertical pieces. Of course they are. Oh, it was a square. Okay. 
Oh, I did okay. a square already. I missed what it said. Anyway. Level three. Yeah, collect two items. I just clicked through it too fast, thinking it would just have dots, oh. and it didn't. That was my yeah. issue. Nostalgic says, what do you think about the text at the top? Is it plain graphics one? Can the code be changed partway through the letter with the DLI? Um, oh, yeah, I see the mission and four are different colors. I was seeing the top is each line has its own color, but then it changes. Ooh, that's a good one and done. Minimum number of moves. Getting the hang of it now. Doko says, it looks like the board is Antic 5 mode plus... Send four mails? Oh, that's one mail. Maybe you have to do it four times. Send four mails? I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, no, no? it's blue, so you can't... No, I'm just that. curious if... See, it says send four, so it might count down. After seeing Tanya play, my next suggestion is to show the goal at all times on the screen. Yeah, they should be able to uh, put it at the bottom. Looks like there's enough room to put it at the bottom. I did do a lot of recalibration. Yep, send there four. Goes, send four. So it does have it in the top left for this one. How does one send a mail yeah exactly <laughs> well just like she's doing now yep. oh it's getting messy around it it is getting messy Ooh, that's interesting uh, da, 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 da. I, just, I thought it was going to be easy but mm, getting messy oh perfect you can finish off don't mess it up oh yeah you can select it i forgot um, when level is complete, it seems like I use the PM graphics to replace the antic fonts in the middle of the screen and scroll the text in antic six mode. Oh boy. Okay, one more to send. Not going to do with any of those. Oh, that's nice. Clear it up. Yeah, that's smart. I can do that, but that's not good. Uh, um, um, no, there. Yeah, that's a good one. Take a risk and put that square. I'm not sure why I did that, but it does oh, open it no. up. <laughs> no, it just opens it up. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes uh, it's easier. No, no. Not this time. Why are you being such a pain in the butt? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, there we go. Ah, nice. My turn. No. Yes, you did five one levels. More. I want one more. Five levels. <laughs> We're not going to play ten levels. <laughs> Level six. Uh, Collect 200 points. Okay. Oh, I guess. Is this the first time we've seen points? Yeah. Oh. I like this. I like this. What a different variety. Yeah, I did a lot of color tweaking on this. Um, I also implemented... Um, time-based correction because this is the, my only PAL system I use. Not that you can see it on this game. 50 to 60 hertz is not going to show up on something like this. Ooh, bonus times two. What? A bonus for doing a... Fancies? A fancy thing, I guess. Put it there. Put it one over. Yes. Um, and I also did some color correction using... The retro tank and also OBS. So the colors are a lot more close to um, Altira's colors. Things aren't quite right, but the white is very nice. And the red, green, and blue are very nice. Um, it's just a couple colors that are just a slight bit off. Oh, Cyrano's going, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Nope. Do not instigate. Do not instigate the fighting. 77 more to go. It's for cats, not for people. Yeah. We just backseat joystick each other. <laughs> it's like, do it this way. No, do it this way. Oh, you get 
bonus by doing a square, not lines. Oh, really? So if you wanted to get more points, do the mm. full squares if possible. Oh, square, up, up. Oh, didn't double. Uh, not done yet. Oh, I Maybe think it four. depends. Maybe you can yeah. only do it once? I don't know. I've gotten it a few times. Oh, and I also changed the screen size to make it fit better for um, broadcast. 12 more points to go. Because before I was resizing um, the output, the 1080p output in OBS, um, this way I'm not resizing anything. Stop unscrewing this. I don't. The cat was playing with it earlier. Uh huh. No. no, no, no. <laughs> is this game completed? Is it new? Says Cat. This Matthew. is completed. Yeah. It is not new, but is new. Mm, I wouldn't even say newly completed, but it just got updated um, a couple of days ago, I think. Ooh, should I do that? Yeah. Throw that yeah. one. In. Um. Yeah. No, up yeah. there. Oh no. No. Right. Yeah, I was there. gonna put there or there. Yeah. See, Actually, my backseat. Um, you are backseat joysticking. Su Sudoku trissing or whatever. <laughs> Sudo trissing. <laughs> Sudo trissing. I, I can't remember what it's. Sudo triss. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Oh, not there. Somewhere I would put there. That's where. That's where you would put it. Yeah, it, it is. Oh, that's good. You're playing. Yeah. <laughs> If you've never played, it's new to you. That's exactly. true. It is new to the show. New to us. Collect four. Does it count it down? Collect four. So I don't know what that means. That there, so I can put that there. And then so that I can goes. Put that there. Oh, three. it does count it down. Neat. That's so cool. Cute. Very cute. It is very cute. Two sideways pieces after yeah. that, so um, I would just fill in. Enough to do it after. Mm, no, the other one fits better. There, or there, or there. Oh, I would have. Yeah. You would have what? There. What do you would would have done? Nothing. Uh, no, nothing. <laughs> ah. Oh. I should just go. Ooh. Oh no. Don't do that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, do the missions give you the same pieces every time? Oh, game over. Oh, you play no. Or are they random? Uh, that's a good... I bet the missions are the same, but the pieces are different. Mm. We can test that. So, square mm -mm. five and four. And we can't get up. Oh. Oh. Yes. Nope. nope. Different, different every time. So Very it nice. does have a lot more um, mm. replayability because it is going to be. It's going to be random. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's a cute game. Very good game. Really enjoy it. I could keep playing this all day. I know you could. Yes. But we can't. No. Oh. Always so ruins my game. Sad. Oh, so my sad. sweet little Sid. Sweet Sid. Sweet little Sid. Um, so the next game we are going to be playing is Robots Rumble, which we have played on the 7800. Yes, we have. I recognize the name. Yes. We're here. Party time oh. for kittens. Party time. Cats, cats, cats. cats, cats. I love that cat with the big, wide eyes. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Nostalgic. So yay! Sid Precious, yes! Sid Vicious or Sid Precious. Sid Depends precious. on his mood. Right now he's he very precious. Sid Precious. Do you know what catnip is? Do you yes, like he it? he does. He does like it. Do you like... Oh, I smell it now. Oh, strong oh. smelling catnip there. Yeah, it's a strong one today. 
It's a good strain of catnip. Okay. All right, Ready, sparkly coasters. Tari. Yeah, Tari's going for the beer. Over here. There you go. Party time for kittens. Party time. Kitty uppers. There you go. Get ready for them to roll around. They're so cute. Thank you, Nostalgic. Yeah, yes. last episode yes. um, with Erlen, we gave catnip. Yeah. And he dove. I showed you after. Yeah, he yeah, you in, did. <laughs> dove into it, loved it, and mm. rolled around. Oh, that's so, so funny. So it did have an effect on him. He did like it then. He Look at him. He's loving it. Yep. It's going to be rolling around in no time. <laughs> Exposed to such strong drugs at a young age. <laughs> He's a delinquent yeah. cat. Oh no. No, not even possible. He's gonna join a cat gang. No. Hang out late at night. With the switch switchblade in his in his paw. With a comb. Comb switchblade. Comb switchblade. Combing his hair, preening himself. Atari, I remember my first nip fuel bender. <laughs> oh, he's attacking. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's like, it's all mine now. All mine. I'm Give kicking out the old man. I'm, I'm taking his nip, too. Yep. Oh, he pushed him aside. He does that during meal no, time, come too. Here. Come here. Come here. Okay, I'll take that here one. I go. want both of them. How can I have both? Atari. They're too far apart. Atari. Uh, oh my goodness! Atari's aside. Atari's either really nice to him. Oh, now it's everywhere. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Or Atari's just like oh, I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so he's either be, being like, oh, he's the little cat. He gets to have it. Oh, yeah. he, he's still got an effect. He's licking himself, and yeah. rolling around. Off he just camera. ran off camera. That's all. Did you get to see the white belly of Sid. He's too vicious right now. He's Sid Vicious. <laughs> He's Sid Vicious. He's turned into Sid Vicious. Sorry, I can't even yet. <laughs> He's biting the lid and rolling around. The catnip is always greener on the other side. Oh, oh yeah. Look at him. Look at him licking that thing. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Atari. Come, oh, on. come on. He's out of it right now. Quick, it's your time. It's your time. He's out of it. He's like, no. No? It's no. too much. It's not worth it? No. No, I just passed him. No, just blinked at me. Oh now. my goodness! Um, <laughs> Tari, Atari's just on the ground going, "Oh, I'm good. I'm good." So this one was first posted July 14th. <laughs> uh, this build is from today. Yeah, it was just updated. It hasn't been posted that it was updated anywhere, but I downloaded it off of the GitHub site where it's posted, and I noticed mm -hmm. that there was an update um, because before this build. On the to-do list was music and sound effects. Gotcha. And now there's just sound effects. So there's <laughs> now music. So ah. we get to see the brand new music for this. Yeah, it might be a bit too hot for Atari to care. It is It is warm in here. It is not cool. It's like 28 degrees. 28 degrees in here. 28 yeah. C? 28.5? Yep. Yeah. So this uh, game is by uh, Tomash Bila mm -hmm. uh, Tebe for code. Uh, Migatello for graphics. Uh, Michał Szpilowski, Miker for music, and uh, David Flipation Savidra for the loading screen. Nice. Now, if you play the XEX version, the mm -hmm. loading screen will go like that, and you don't get to see it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to load the ATR version, which simulates loading off of disk. And it doesn't take that long, so mm -hmm. it's fine. Um, so let's switch over to that. 83.3 and it's humid it's a bit because we live yeah. in a rainforest here well it's it's not usually it's, too bad it's, it's because humid. it's hot in, in this room because of the lights no we don't well, have air conditioning too. but outside it's not that bad today it's just the moment you turn on the lights it, ugh, this whole room heats up so 47 percent humidity so yeah. there you go uh, uh, that's, I mean, it's not uh, terrible uh, but it's it not could be okay. could be worse load it up please all right Robots Rumble. Which one? Uh, the, XEX? Uh, no. Nope. ATR? I was not listening. Okay. Yeah, it is the ATR. <laughs> okay. So that it loads <laughs> slowly so we get to see the title screen. Yeah. ITC currently 32.7 here. Oof. Yeah. There it that, is. That is hot. <gasps> it's a nice title screen. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it the looks magnets. fantastic. Yeah. I see, love, it doesn't take that long. Love me a good title screen. Okay. So you have played this. Yeah. Uh, we played the two joystick version on the 7800. 
this has one joystick but it's the same controls so joystick by itself up and down moves the left magnet it's not moving right, button but that's okay yeah button up and down a button with a joystick up and down moves the right magnet gotcha so up and down or hold up and down yes that's great music So watch out for those spiky green plants. I know they're not plants, but they are plants to me. Nope. Oh, nope. Dead. Oh! I wasn't even paying attention. Wrong way! Uh, whoops. Can't Bad again. luck. So this is originally from the ZX Spectrum. It's a ZX Spectrum game. It says, in this game you have to guide the robot to the latest screen of each planet and throw it into the lava. Uh, you control the robot with the right and left magnets. Avoid green radioactive rocks and guardians. You need to recharge your energy by picking up the batteries. The program was written in Mad Pascal, so the only thing left to do is add the sound effects. I have your collections. We had 56 humidity. Apparently that means the heat index outside means it feels like 39 for 103. 39 is, is very toasty warm. Very, very toasty. So this this screen is straightforward, but the next oh, screen will not be straightforward, and you have to manipulate the magnets very carefully. Nostalgia no! shoot! Oh, that was so close. I meant to hit the button, and I did not. Uh, Nostalgia's QAPL of the keyboard controls, odd but sensible. The authors were going for Quapla. Yeah, QAPL. The jo the uh, keyboard movements are much easier than the button and joystick. I wish they did a. Oh, you're seeing the reflections, right? Yeah. Are we gonna turn it off. That's much easier. Sorry, right, we're gonna go uh, non-zero page for a moment for this game because it's so reflective. And oh. Dead. Uh. I was dying anyway. <laughs> oh. I was waiting too long. I was like trying to figure out what to do. Uh, the oh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm not paying attention because I'm listening to you at the same time. The map is different. I don't know if the 7800 is straying from the map or this game is straying from the original map. I would have to look at the ZX Spectrum version of it. And I think this, this version is kind of staying more true to the colors of the ZX Spectrum. It seems like very primary colors. It's the um, Robots Rumble in the 7800 is um, like very revamped. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the two joystick controls on it. Stops paying attention when James talks. Yeah, <laughs> I do listen sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Okay, now that top is the left magnet, you gotta move out of the way. Move it up one. Up one? Yeah. And then move the magnet up. No! Oh. Move the right magnet up. When he gets there, so he pulls him over. battery really quick. There's battery no. way down there. Get him moving. He's flashing. Ugh. Left. Oh. Okay. You have to start from the beginning again? Dude. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, you've done it before. You have to do it really quick. Oh. You no. started over. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Well, That's you okay. Can, you, you, no, you play. play. You play. Yeah? You play. You'll, you'll get further than I will. Was this programmed by the same person, people, as Adam is me? The graphics and music are so similar. Ooh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. If you want to look up... Um, I'm going to run out of time. Uh, T-E-B-E. -E. That's who the main uh, coder is. <gasps> yep. At least you can kind of stop yourself yeah. sometimes. Yeah, if you move fast enough. The 
this is going to be... Up to the top. Yep. I need to get them off. That's fine. Could have gone... Di oh, those are walls! I down, had to go down. up to the top. Yeah, you do. Oh, God. No! Oh, my God. Problem is, you start from the beginning again. It is challenging. It's so cool, though. I love the gameplay. Yeah, it's so unique. Like, And it, it definitely um, forces you to memorize your paths, because if you want to do it fast enough, you yeah. kind of have to figure out exactly what you need to do. set up combos mm -hmm. if you're like quick enough but, uh, right. thank you uh, now I need to move that one away because it killed me last time and then you pull him off to the left and then to the right Into the lava, finally. Yay! Uh, I have one robot left, though. My goodness. You used up one of my robots. Me! <laughs> Before I took over. Uh, so he needs to go... Right. Oh, no! My god. Can I skip planets? Can you choose levels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can. Or not. It says level. Mm-hmm. Select. Left, right. Two. No. Two! You picked level six? No. This is no. The first level. no. I was just wondering if maybe you could pick. Two, two, no, ah! Nope. Okay. Let's we'll start again with three robots. that the colors in this game give me Commodore 64 vibes. <laughs> it, limited palette? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, it comes from a ZX Spectrum, which That's has true. 60, 16 colors. Yeah. <laughs> More like 8 times 2. Yeah. Pretty garish colors, too. I'm garish. Yeah. Oh, they're bright. They are bright colors. Serena says, it's really nice to see more colorful games on the A8 again. We went through a phase of monochrome for several long years. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like, like the colored games. They're fun. Nothing wrong with bright colors. Nothing wrong with black and white games, too. Those are, those are cool. Make sure you have to. It's set up. It it's is set, set up, up to fail. It is. <sighs> I am disappointed in myself. Sign not lit up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too reflective for this game. Yeah. 
for some reason. Here, Sid Vicious. Such a sweet little Sid Vicious. Oh, so tired. Oh, goodness. He's a naughty cat. Move that up, yeah. That's that's the that's key. That's the bad one. Hooah! Yay! Hello, Alter Karma. Nice. I have two guys this time. I have a fighting chance. Uh, I have to go down the right hand side. Yes. Uh, okay, that guy needs to be. No. Uh, oh. Yes. Yep. Go down one more on the right. And then that is the left. Left, left, right. Left. And then right. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, there's a patrolling guy now. Makes it easier when it's like, oh, there's a clear path. Then you have to move. Double. Oh, uh, okay, oh yeah. wait, I'll bring him down. And, and he goes up. And then wait. Don't move up immediately because he'll go over. Um, and then I need to go over. Over and over. Over, yep. And then. Over one. And, and then as soon as he's passed. Mm -hmm. oh, I just forgot. Okay. Oh no! <gasps> Bad timing, but I was panicking. <sighs> you have to do it a little faster, I guess. Yeah. <gasps> Damn it! Ah, uh, your turn. Oh, sorry, I did forget to say that this is using VBXE. This is a VBXE game, so if you don't have VBXE, you will have to use an emulator. So many friend requests on Facebook. Oh yeah. In the past little while. From random women. Oh yeah. Um yeah. Romance scams, I'm guessing. Just like every day, multiple oh, yeah. a day. Oh yeah. Yeah. They don't know any of my friends. I don't know who they are. Careful. You need to move the left one. Oh. Yep, bots. They are bots. I've so, noticed that on every platform it's gotten a lot worse. So without VBXE it's monochrome. Uh, uh, no, I don't. It's it's a different graphics mode, so it, it would just show up so nothing. James, we didn't know you had it in you. To, to attract bots? Oh yeah. All day, every day. <laughs> Jake, what did you do with the lid? It hit the lid. Nope, I'm not getting any. Not getting any. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so hot. Put him in a loop. Get to the you get used to the one joystick control pretty quick. Okay, move that left yeah. guy out of the way. Uh, 
Vitoko says, I think this could be done without VBXE and still look like this. Hmm. Maybe. I am definitely not qualified to answer that question. There's a lot of colors on the screen. Lots and lots of detail and colors. funny that I can't remember the original story of why you have to throw them in the lava rather than just send them to the those deadly rocks <laughs> it's like no they gotta go in the lava that's what you're paid to do is put them in the lava does it show oh you definitely don't want to put that in the right hand angle. oh yeah M player missile graphic bands on the platforms, but makes the screen super complex to design. Mm. I'm sure I understood more about the player missile graphics. It's like you have four of them, right? On the Atari 8 bit? Instead of only. Go, 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 two on the 2600. I uh, can move the left one all the way down. Yeah, there you go. No. But every time I try and read up about Atari 8 bit graphics, one, there's just nothing I can find that's comprehensive. Batteries right there, you can do it. Yeah, good. Oh, he's in a loop. Cool. <laughs> um, and there's also different modes, which is also confusing. Different graphics modes. Like, I understand the reason for different graphics modes because you have a certain amount of memory on the graphics chip right 2600 i understand 2600 graphics quite well but that's drawn on a line by line basis but in the atari oh this is brutal oh you have to drop him through those without getting hit Ugh. oh no i'm done <laughs> you're done <laughs> yeah, just don't want to go through all of that again okay <laughs> start from I'll the beginning Hi, baby cat. Are you hot? He's like, he's, I'm so hot. <laughs> I am so warm a hot in here. cat. It is warm. Warm environment. <gasps> Damn it. It's going so well. Brutal Made game. Made it to the last screen there. <laughs> it's such a hard game. Uh, it's so good, though. It's just the whole if, having to start if, right from the beginning is so no hard. There's no time limit yeah. that make it a lot easier, but obviously that's the point. Mm -hmm to have a time limit. I'm going to do one more. Okay, one more. One more. Yeah, the, um, uh, there's, uh, I would say it's been happening for a while, but like just Facebook in particular. Oh, they're trying just to. Just so much random requesting. Yeah. It's just gotten way worse than before. Yeah, because people are it's just really susceptible to bots and AI to scams now. Well, at the end of the day, I think people, more people know about them now, but it yes. doesn't matter. It's it... so lucrative if they can. <gasps> nope. Oh, we're so lucky. Move it. There we go. Yeah, it's so lucrative and it costs them nothing to nothing do. Nothing to do so that. So they're like, why not they can scam? Get one person. Yeah, one out of a thousand to give them, I know. you know, a thousand dollars by going, that's enough, right? Like luring them into thinking they're, they have a boyfriend and <laughs> overseas, or so brutal. girlfriend overseas. Jesus, uh, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I find this game when you start getting f 
frustrated and you start trying to do it fast, That's it gets worse because you have to kind of be very patient with it and move quickly, but pay attention. And yeah, it gets worse as you get frustrated with it. It's such a good game. It's such a good game. It is. So clever. A really good music. All the scam emails I've seen haven't really increased in sophistication. No! And I understand nope. that's on purpose. They want someone gullible. So an obvious scam email or te text is kind of a pre-screener. It's true. Yep. It, I've heard that before, too. That's why yep. they put... Well, I've said <laughs> Well, no, but, but that's why, you know, sometimes you see very obvious spelling mistakes and gra yep. grammatical errors. Sometimes it is the person writing the email, but sometimes it's on purpose. Yeah. So they weed out the smart people. Yeah. Or you, the non gullible. Anyway. You love watching the YouTubes of uh, all the people who try to catch the scammers, like the phone yeah. scammers and stuff. I, I cannot watch it. I, it's I, so I, cringy. Even though I, it's not that I disagree with what they're doing, but it's just so hard. I like it because it, it, it keeps me up to date on all the different scams that are out there as well, because they, they it try also, and focus on different ones each time. Well, and it also tells you the tactics they're using, too, yes. which is, is yeah, very, very bad a lot of the time. It's crazy. It is. This is, no, not this one. And a loop, loop de looped. Uh. This one's not too bad. What happens if you go to the right? You're just dead, right? It's, it's a dead end. Okay, uh, so you have to find the exact right gap to fall, which is... Ugh. There, okay. Good job. Good job! Woo! Get ready for the next planet! Okay, I am not ready. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, what was that thing? Uh, I'm guessing I have to go get that thing. Expecting that, so but uh, down and then and right. that first. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is gonna be timing. Uh, no, it's it should go up oh, it and up. Yeah, that's true. And then, yeah, you're okay for now. <sighs> oh, now this is timing. Uh, position this first. Yes. Position that guy there. Or I think it's better no, to I go to the push. other way. Or or I guess go the other way too. I could, I suppose. Down and down. <laughs> That's one way. No, oh. It doesn't matter. Uh okay, I have to go over. get that oh you have to fall oh off God. oh my goodness that is tough the problem is is as you're playing it where did you go i almost died <laughs> i disappeared I, I, went, I went into the ether for oh a my second goodness. <laughs> ah damn it 
Okay. Gamadev says they want the same people who are fooled into believer psychics. Yes. Just a basic cold reading. Yes. My dad recently got a call that started out grandpa and he grandpa. knew it wasn't one of his grandkids, so he said Billy. 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 And the guy went, Yeah, it's me. He has no grandkids named Billy. I was so proud of him. Go grandpa. <laughs> Go grandpa. That's awesome. Oh. Yep. You have to educate your parents mm. and your grandparents on what the hell's going on out there. My yeah. mom said to me about scams. She mentioned something to me about yeah. scams. I'm like, oh, thank, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I don't yeah, have to talk exactly. to her about that. Yeah. 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 As long as there's some level of paranoia about scams, yes. you're good. As long yes. as they don't think everyone who talks is their friend. And I think less and less that's the case with well, the generation. our generation of parents, the generation yes. before that. Like yeah. our grandparents were, I think, a lot more prone to that. Well, but, I see on the news it is our parents' age that it are quite everybody susceptible. Well, the, but it's it's ironic that the people who told us growing up don't get into vans with strangers yeah, are, it's true. are answering <laughs> are answering emails from strangers. Yeah, well, thinking they're they are they're friends. But I think as well, yeah, you become more susceptible as you get older. You're more vulnerable, right? So I that's understandable the too. The factor comes in that they have some sort of belief that phone calls and emails have some sort of authority attached to them well oh somebody's phoning me and it says blah on it somebody's email emailing me and it says this company on it it must be real but i i also think you know if you're talking about phone calls your hearing goes yeah I watch Kate Boga. Yeah. yeah like your your um and pleasant green is that is that the other? Sorry? That's the other guy. Yeah, I think when you're hearing goes, someone suddenly someone calls you and you can't well, quite too. tell that it sounds like your niece mm. or nephew or your or your kid, and I, I don't know. You just become more vulnerable to it as you get and older. Sometimes so, I've heard. Yeah. I don't know if I believe this that there's some some spear phishing going on with phone calls too. They do some prep beforehand. Oh really? Where they go? Oh, I've I'll find out who their daughter. Yes. Or grandson's yes. name is. Yes. And then, you know, make the line crackly or something or make yeah. it muffly. Yeah, and then, I've heard that too. Then, but I think it's just... Um, I think that's too much work for I most think it's people. just manipulation. I think They're doing right. the cold reading things. Yeah. Oh, it's me. It's your grandson. Yeah. Billy? Yeah, it's Billy, like he said, right? Or and, some belief that you can pay bills with gift cards. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Yeah. I can't even fathom that. Yeah, the government wants you to pay your taxes with gift cards. <laughs> yeah. But th on that, they prey on people who are not originally from the country as well. Yeah. Who don't understand the, the workings of, say, Canada or the U.S. Or like the banking system and things like or that. Or the yeah. banking system where they think, oh, gift cards, it's money. It's yeah. an easy way to pay and oh. I just read it out. Yeah, and, it's awful. Um, but another tactic, of course, is pressure. It's yeah. like, you have to do this now. We're coming to arrest you. I'll be on the phone the whole time. Don't yeah. talk to anyone. Yeah. And we'll we'll get this done and quick and so we won't have to send the police. Yeah. And they go, no, no, no. Okay, we're sending the police right now. Yeah. And it makes them panic. Yeah. And it shuts off your thinking part yeah. of your brain. And you're just following commands. Yeah, it's terrible. Plus, if you can make them angry, it's hilarious. Yeah. So oh, yeah. You yeah. Keep them talking as long as possible under the belief that I... Well, I have them. They're not abusing somebody else. Yeah. That's that's the Kid Boga yeah. way of doing things. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it prevents one person, but he's now taking it to the next level. And he's cooperating with other people and taking down like full places. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. shuts down like 20, 30 and yeah. works with the local authorities, which they don't do a lot, but no. sometimes they do. So, well, you give it enough attention, they will. And that's kind of yeah. it, too. You so. embarrass them. Exactly. I no guess. one wants to be embarrassed. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, um, I hate all that stuff. So great three games today. Glitter well, bombs for everyone. Glitter. Yes, Gamadou. Glitter bombs. <laughs> with fart spray. Yeah. yeah, with fart spray. <laughs> yeah, we watch that channel too. Yeah. Uh, Galaga-ish, Sudotra, Sudotris, and Robots Rumble. Fantastic. Uh, galaga -ish is a great start. It's mm. Actually, more than a start. It's very close to the end. And I, there must be a way like, to extract the patterns from... I know John Champo did it from scratch because he does most of his stuff from scratch. Oh, and yes. He gets the patterns and stuff and programs yeah. them in. But there must be a way to extract them from like another game that's Possibly. already been made. Yeah, yeah. Or just get them from I John. think it plays <laughs> incredibly well. It feels really good. I think, yeah, it just there are a few things that haven't been implemented yet. For, yeah. If you wanted and a full Galaga. And some more advanced characters, yeah. like the ones that are in the bonus screen that's split into three yeah. and all those. That's, that's graphics. 
Uh, Sudotris, mm -hmm. it's finished game. It's got a lot of variety. Yeah. Uh, people who love puzzle games like you do, you'd probably play it all the way through. Oh, to I'd the play end. it all the way through. It's, like, it's okay, just nice. Mission. It's Let's calming. It. It's a little cozy little puzzle game. Yeah, very fun. There's a mark on the wall. No, no, he just <laughs> he just tried to clean dirt off his screen, but it's a mark on our wall. Is I'm sure there's one? plenty of this them. One? Yeah. Or is it like the little things hanging down from yeah. the back? Could be. Could be Bernie. There's a oh. little orange mark right here. Bernie! Watching us at yeah. all times. Yeah. Oh, oh Atari in his um, uh -oh. in his cat and pays looked over. So. Yeah, he's yeah. melted. You can see the cats <laughs> on the floor. That one to the left of the sign. Oh, that one doesn't show the full cat. But in the small version, you can see him. Cat. The full cat. You can only see this baby. Oh. oh let's see this baby. Look at this baby. He is. He's tuckered out. Oh, he's adorable. Too much catnip oh, in warm that weather. The cat, <laughs> they ball themselves up and shake, shake. when they're stretching. Oh. It's like, a, like an internal stretch rather oh. than this. Like, yeah. Mm. So cute. So cute. Fall, cat fall down, go sleep. Yes. Oh, mm, too much cutie. catnip and treats. Uh, so let's yes. check what's coming up on the stream. Still waiting for Tony in the mail. Um, if everything goes to plan, I'll have a something fun to show on the show on mm -hmm. Friday. If everything arrives, oh in good, time. excellent! It's scheduled to arrive on Thursday, and the majority of the components as well. Hey, Erlen. Tuesdays with Tanya. Woo. Hey, Erlen. Um, so <laughs> Friday we might play Tony if it arrives. I've seen a lot of people getting it in the mail. Oh, so, good. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. It's coming from Europe, so it takes a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to do an After Dark before the end of the month of Biopede Enhanced Edition. Okay. That's Cyrano J's But we have game. another very important after to do, which is to finish the 7800. That too. Classic it's gaming. It's so hot. It has been hot. <laughs> and in this yeah. office, you have to like bump it up by three degrees. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's very hot. Yeah. Um, but I have kind of scheduled um, a show of ZPH favorites, Atari 2600 Platformers Part 2. Ooh, and so I've nice. kind of put this on the decks for a, a show, future show a future show that I need a fill-in for. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be Stay Frosty 2, Tower of Rubble, Blinky Goes Up, Amoeba Jump, and Hunchy 2. I might, I might reduce that to four, mm. just four, because five's quite a bit. Um, end of the month... Lawrence Stavely, developer Spotlight, Cyrano J, uh, talking about uh, everything Jaguar. Excellent. And all the reboot releases nice. and his early development career. He is in the chat. Yes. Right there. Right there. <laughs> uh, they're doing a Jag version of Tony as well. I nice. have heard rumblings of that. Do you know who's doing it, Cyrano? Or is it you? <laughs> <laughs> like, because you're doing all of the things. Um, it's the royal day. Is it's the mean. royal day. <laughs> They're doing. They. Uh, they, uh, they are doing it. <laughs> yes. Some say I'm still <laughs> in early <laughs> development. Yeah, Cyrano's in, in early development. Uh, <laughs> will be an exclusive world premiere of Last Strike DX mm. on that day. Mm. And probably uh, jumping at Shadows as well. Maybe we can uh, do a, oh, an update yes. on that. Oh, yes. I'm excited to play Not... it. You've had some playtime in yeah, to help testing. test beta test yeah, it. I'm, I'm excited to I play more I need to more do more, that. but as Such I said... A beautiful, it's beautiful game. Very hot in here, so it it's is, so it is hard to even work in this room. Look at this cat. That tells you. That's... That's, that's the heat right there. I'll show you again. This is how I feel in this room. Yeah. This. This is how I go in the room, too. <laughs> that cat. Melted kitten. Melted kitten. Um, so that's happening on July 30th. Yeah, I'm done with... So, yeah. We've had a consistently warm summer the, in Vancouver. Well, the last week or two has been like warm. 25 and up. Yeah. Like, I'm... I'm uh, and it's going to be like that for another two weeks. And I'm, I'm excited <sighs> that we're going to your sister's at some point for some oh, pool time. Pool time. She has a Thank pool goodness. and a hot tub. Oh. So I, I highly suggest oh. getting a sibling with a pool. Yeah. Oh. It's really great. So good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, July 30th, you do not want to miss that. Developer Spotlight, Lauren Stavely, talking about all things Jag. Um, we have an exclusive world premiere of a game called Jungle Maze in August, late August, September. Scheduled for August right now. Uh, a Spotlight on Albert Yeruso. Mm, Al, Al, nice. Bert 
is coming on the show Yay! in September, just before PRG. Of course, of course. So we can talk to him about everything. Everything Atari. Everything. And Atari Age. Nice. Sorry, Atari Age and Atari, because uh, we haven't really done an extensive talk with him ever. Mm. We've talked with him as in, in conjunction with things. Well, yeah, with releases of games. Release and of like games, uh, Atari Age Day, mm. um, the awards we've talked to him. We've talked to him, you know, at PRGE, but not just him in a spotlight, nothing else. It's about him and Atari Age. So that would. That's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, so I will solicit questions both for Lauren yeah. Stavely and for excellent um, Albert for Al, as well when he's here. And I've touched base with uh, John Champo as well about the upcoming Secret Homebrew mm -hmm. um, and his interview. Um, that might. I don't know when that's going to be, so we'll have to see. It'll probably be before PRGE. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll probably be doing an update on Two Ton Com. Okay. Yeah. In yeah. about a month, mm. that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, what else? And Chris Walton way after PRG. I'm, at I'm, some I'm point. Thinking. At, at some, some point. point. Yeah. Nice. Summer bad, winter good. Yeah. So what? Everyone hates summer. Everyone. I'm gonna do a poll <laughs> right now. Are you? <laughs> Hang on. Summer, winter, fall. Oh no. Should we should just do summer? No. Winter. What is your favorite season? I guess that'll tease out summer and winter, won't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. I don't think I've ever done that one. That's a good one. So let's do a Twitch poll right now. Favorite season. Um, start with spring, summer. I'm gonna call it fall. You can call it autumn <laughs> if you want. Uh, Do okay. people not call it fall? No, some people call it autumn. Well, autumn. I like both, but... So there you go. Really? What is your favorite season? Mine. F fall prop. Well, it's between fall and spring. Is it? Yeah. I think in Vancouver, spring might be better. May is my favorite month. I'm going with one. I'm one. I'm sorry yeah. for all you fall people. I do like fall, but Ooh, one winter. is pretty high up there for me. And this also depends where you live, too. Yeah. It, it, and it, no one else is picking one. I'm picking one. <laughs> I'm doing it just... just. Oh, it's a real toss-up because I'm on the... I'm going to have to go for summer. Yeah, but can you put one for me? Can you do a two and a one? I Thank can. you. Thank you. Um, yeah. The, I'm the only one picking one, but... Because our summers give you aren't why. usually this crazy. They're getting more and more crazy. Yeah. Usually it's like an intense week and then it's nice. Yeah. Late spring's really good. Like yeah. late, late spring and early summer. So but I think it counts more for summer for me. Growing up out east in Ontario, a hundred times over I would say fall. Because summer's way too freaking hot and sweaty. Bugs. Sp winter is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> spring stinks because everything melts and everything stinks. <laughs> like literally Fall stinks. Fall is gorgeous. The leaves change colors. It's the perfect temperature. It is the best time to be out east. Mm. However, since I've moved to the Pacific Coast, yes, um, Pacific winter, Northwest. the Pacific Northwest, winter is an ongoing... We don't call Vancouver the Pacific Northwest. Only no. people from the U.S. call this coast the Pacific Northwest. It's the Pacific... We call it the whatever. West Coast. Arcadia, or what is it? Uh, <laughs> Arcadia. Arcadia. Um, We're renaming, Cas Cascadia. Renaming Cascadia. Cascadia to Arcadia. Arcadia. Cascadia. Sounds better anyway. Um, no, uh, so since moving to the Pacific, winter is a depressing mess of rain 24 hours a day. And there is something about when the sun comes out, and the and because we don't have melting snow, you don't get the stink in the spring. No. And all of a sudden, all the trees erupt and bloom, and all the flowers come out. Literally, just the best. In like the best starting month in February, in my to opinion. May. Yeah, the best month in my opinion is May. May, because the trees because are end at full of May, bloom. This, the rain stops. You get a good couple of weeks. It's like twenty degrees. Yep. All the spring flowers are out. Yep. May is fantastic are out. here. The trees are blossoming. Actually, they they kind of go in March. They, the, the flowers March, blossom a lot earlier, yeah. but I think spring is amazing because you, it lifts the depression of winter in, in the Pacific coast. Yep. The complete opposite of 
uh, out east. Yeah. Out east where it's hot and sweaty. I want to steal the pot. Yeah. Uh, it's hot and sweaty, and then you hit fall and it cools off, and you get... You get Halloween, you get all the lovely leaves, um, the, the kind of evening out of the weather before it gets really wintry and cold. So I have the opposite. So I do really like spring, I have to say. I know I'm the only person. I like late spring, and it pushes me towards I like more summer. Yeah. Where did, when does summer start? Well, summer technically starts in June. Oh, it's so late. And June is usually terrible, and then it gets super hot in July and August. Yeah. June is rainy. At least for the last few years. Some messy, years. Messy. I remember years out here where summers were rain. They rained. Eh, they were not be. happy and hot. They we were raining. Such random so, weather. So anyway. Um yeah. everybody voted for fall, except for one person. Oh no, no, no. No, no there's no, a no. balance. There's, there's a like balance. Two, one person for spring, one you. One person for winter. Who is a winter person? Zombie Alice. Zombie Alice likes winter. Uh, There's nothing wrong with winter, but it depends how bad your winter is. Two people voted for summer and everyone else did fall. Fall. I understand fall. I understand yeah. it. Oh, Chitlidla said winter too. Oh, okay. So more, maybe more than... Oh, maybe it was two for spring and two for... I don't know. Yeah. The percentages are more accurate. Anyway. Yeah, 58, the overwhelming uh, majority of people. Not overwhelming, but I, And that does people. not surprise me in the slightest. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of activities in fall. Yes. The colors are amazing in fall. It's yep. not hot. It's not cold. And as many, a m number of people have said, you hit Halloween and then you have that glide into the Christmas break and like all the fun stuff at Christmas. Yes. It's the anticipation anti anticipation of Christmas. And then you hit Christmas and then it's depression. And there's like After sports <laughs> sports in the fall too. I think people associate that. Yeah. yeah lots of eating. But yeah. Yeah. But I do like spring. Sometimes I have to you go say. straight from winter to summer. Our winter yes. is kind of goes straight to summer because our winter is rainy and then it's nice. Yeah, but it's cooler really nice instead of hot nice, which it is right now. Winter lasts about a week. Erlen, if, if winter is snow. Erlen takes winter over summer. I like winter. Some I don't just know. can't deal with hot. Like they don't even like it warm. They're just like, I like it cool. I can put yeah. on clothes. In the summer, you have no choice in clothing. You're just like, you have to wear almost nothing. Yeah. You can't do any fashion. True. Yeah. But or you sweat in it. Yeah. <laughs> I like summer because when you go to concerts, yes, you have to bring your damn jacket <laughs> and hold your jacket or pay for a coat check. There you go. I'm like, there you God go. Damn jackets. <laughs> I do in the summer, agree. You just walk that you can walk to the concert. Well, and winter, just if you go to right a concert in. in winter, you're bundled up and then the moment you step inside it's like 500 degrees. <laughs> and then then you're sweating in all your long uh, sleeve clothing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's there's good and bad for good every, and bad for every season. But so I I, I, I wanted to put my my vote in for spring because yeah. I think it it's does depend vote, but, yeah. it depends on where you are. It really it makes does. a difference. It does. Again, spring out east, no. <laughs> no, it's just a big old no. Stinks. It stinks. It stinks. <laughs> yeah, it stinks until until uh, it stinks, and then you hit mosquito season. That's pretty much what happens in 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 Ontario. Hi, so. hi. What's up, buddy? Should we try Bell just before we go? Just a tiny bit of Bell. Are we gonna try the Bell with the the, the little uh, sleepy cat over here? Oh, he's maybe too. Are we gonna sleepy. do some some? Oh, wake up for the bell. he's not even awake. Are we just going to do one or two? Just, oh. Should we try two? It's not going to be. Um, it's not going to work. No, no. It's not going to be for points because he's no, no, still no, learning. So points. we're just going to do a, a little bell before we yeah, go. Yeah, we'll try two. We haven't tried two. Okay. So you hold one. I'll hold the other. Let's get some treats. Because he, he'll have his own bell. Oh, he knows treats. He knows treats. He knows treats. Yeah, it's training session. Try two, says Erlen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So who did that? Did he I, do that? I did that. Okay. Are you going to try it? There you go. He does take a little while to chew, too. So I think that the, yeah, he'll be the warring hit. bells is going to... Well... Hit it. Hit the bell. Here. Yeah. Okay. Good kitty. <laughs> I had to pick Atari. him up. Atari, you have to hit the bell. Hit it a little harder. It's got to be... No, sweetie, there. Hit the bell. I have to have it, because it, the delay is too long. Here. Kittens, hit, hit the bell. Hit. Good. 
Good kitty. Oh, that wasn't him. That's okay. Oh, he's hissing. Is he hissing? Under his breath. Hit it. Hit this. Hit this. Use the paw. Little baby. Good kitty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Try again. There you go. The problem is this cat doesn't use his paw yeah. to get the treat. No, I've got... Come Hit on. it. Hit it. He's so distracted. Come here. He knows the ringing equals here. a treat. So he knows that at least. He'll figure it out. <laughs> He'll figure it out eventually. He's just a tiny baby. He's just a little baby. Like he... How how old were all the other were the cats that we how old was Atari when we got Atari? Older. No, he's about the same age. Really? Yeah, he was a few months. <sighs> but they didn't learn the bell trick right away. Yeah. He learned it alongside Pixel. Pixel. Yeah. And Sprite watched Atari do it once. Yes. And got it the second time. And then the and then he he you could see the wheels turning in his head and the yeah. next time we tried it he hit it. Yeah, Sprite was this guy, not, not so... So distracted. Did you it's see like, that? He's not seeing him hit it. Kitten. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Come here. Hit it. Watch him. Watch him. Watch. Watch him. See that? There you go. You saw it. Okay. Sleep on it tonight. Okay? Yeah. Oh, he's thinking... He's thinking about he, it. He was, <gasps> he thought. He was almost doing it. He's thinking about it. Yep. Yeah. Did you see that? He saw it. Okay, let's try one more. He approached it and he's looking at it. And he, he almost like went, lunged no, for sweetie, it. No, sweetie, no. The bell. We're, we're doing bells. <laughs> doing bell time. Here. There you go. Come Here. Kitten. Hit the bell. Hit it. Hit that bell. Hit the bell. Hit it with your paw. There we go. Good kitty. <laughs> Good kitty. <laughs> <laughs> You'll figure it out eventually. You'll get it. You just, I think it needs to sit with him. I think it does. Okay. Just what's in your hand. It just yeah. what's in a, uh, my hand. Come Too on. many treats Come for him. Come on, more. baby. No, don't steal his. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Come on, hit the bell. Come on, hit it. Come on, almost. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's thinking about it. Yes. I can tell. He's like. He lifted his hand up there. Yep. His hand. His, his paw. Hand. His cat his hand. His paw. You can do it, buddy. Come on. He's licking himself now. He's like, I've got. I've got a treat all over my hands. Come on. Hit the bell. Come on, baby. He's over it. I think he is over it. <laughs> okay. You think about it tonight, okay? Okay, here's good a kitty. couple. Good, good school, good cat school. Yep, now he's getting there. Slowly, slowly. Uh, so, uh, this makes me realize there was a time in my life I didn't know how to push a button on a controller. <laughs> I'm yeah. intrigued by this kitten's learning process. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was just so easy with Sprite. With Sprite. He just, I thought, oh, all cats are fast. It's like, Come he on. watched Atari do it, and then the next day he did it himself. Oh my god! It needs to process a little bit. Unbelievable. Yeah, but he's he's still very young. Stuck he's next. younger than Sprite was when we did it with oh, him. Okay. him. For sure, for sure. So, so. thanks for hanging Yay! out with us. A Sprite was a goaded bell player. <laughs> oh yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us, uh, Erilyn. Rendered Ghost, Nostalgic, Chalstani Mel, Chitlitla, Cyrano, Zombie, Zombie Alice. Alice, Gamma Dev, Dan ABC. Uh, Pro 7. Pro 7. Uh, uh, retro Gamer. Do, do, do. It's Kev. Gamma Dev. We probably said Vitoko. Um, Altered Karma. New name. Welcome. VVG. Cafe Man. Well, double down. That's what VG, VVG is. Uh, Cubanismo, Crypto Coffee, Ivory Tower Yay! Collections, and everyone else who's lurking. lurking. Hi, lurkers. So we will be back on Friday mm -hmm. with more fun Atari games mm -hmm. and maybe even something else. Hopefully some unboxing. That'll be fun. I hope. Yeah. It's on track. And we want to know 
what you bought in the Prime Day deals. <laughs> no, next job. <laughs> no. If there was anything worth buying. I'm sorry, I've just been every time fed we look, ads every five oh minutes God. on my phone every about Prime we Day look, stuff. It's all just their garbage. I know, it's, it's true. just it's true. branded <sighs> spy devices that they want in your, in your house. <laughs> True. Oh, the spy devices are half you off. You know what? So I, I've been wanting an air fryer for a long time, and it just keeps feeding me uh, air fryer ads, but we have no space. 3D resin. 3D resin. Ah. Yes. How about a, a 3D printer? Oh, I, I can't afford that. I have enough no, other things. Now. Yeah, but I you know. have enough projects. I have enough projects. I would yep. love a 3D printer. Oh, my well, gosh. It would be next, so much next fun. Next art thing. Yeah. 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 I got to finish the art things I've started, yeah. though. Yeah. Anyway, oh, the Toko says puts three. In a, puts in the last minute vote for, for fall. fall. It's all about oh, fall. Oh, just bought a 3D printer. Oh, excellent. Yeah, they're very good and oh. very cheap now. 3D print and air fryer. There you go. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> but you need to buy all the components you, you and the could, heating elements. I could, don't know if I'd trust myself you to... Could get a 3D metal printer. It'd have to be metal. 3D printer. Yeah. Anyway, bye-bye, everyone. See bye. you on Friday with Darcy. I, I hope, hope so. Okay, I hope, I hope so. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Bye.